This is Steve. And this is Sean. This is Archimedes. High five. So, Steve, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about recurring billings in Commerce 2. All recurring. Kinds of recurring billings that happen more than once. Yes, a exactly. Whole bunch of times. Some people like to call this subscriptions. Ah, subscriptions. Yes, yes, but we call it recurring billing in commerce. Like if I want to buy some CDs that they send me in the mail. <laughs> yes, or if you want to rent DVDs from Blockbuster, that's yeah. the same kind of thing. Or how Netflix originally started. Yes, exactly. And yeah. here we are today. Yeah, you couldn't actually do it online. We associate recurring billing with the success of Netflix. That's really <laughs> the story of the day. But no, we're, let's talk a little bit about mm -hmm. what recurring is in commerce too. If you want to give a little bit of the synopsis. Yeah, um, recurring is to to explain what it is in a general sense first, like you said, basically, mm. anything where we want to have a transaction happen um, after the initial time when the customer was on our site. Um, oftentimes that's mm -hmm. monthly or yearly or something like that, but it could even be just um, in a month we want to have the last half of the payment go through or something like that. It's anything where we have a sort of delayed or timed payment that needs to go. So what um, your grandmother thinks is when she puts her credit card in, they just keep her credit, like a picture of her credit card, for, in their for system. Like forever. Yes. Yeah. Which is but, why it's so dangerous all the time. All the time. But that's not the case. No. At no point do we in commerce ever save the credit card itself. Um, what we save, and I've talked about this in some of the other videos, is a token. Mm -hmm. So that is just a reference to the credit card. That is much safer because it can only be used to make transactions against your specific account. Mm -hmm. So if someone steals that information, all they can do is charge that credit card. Um, against your account so they, they can't get money, they can only give you money and then you recognize the flaw and just return the money. Yep, absolutely. So it's much, much safer. It lowers your PCI compliance requirements mm -hmm. um, and it just it makes anything safer. You can't have that horrible breach of mm -hmm. like, oh my God, my site was hacked and I gave away 100,000 credit card numbers because you just will never have 100,000. But we had this data. also in Commerce One, so, but I believe we're using tokenization a little different this time around. Yeah, we only sort of had it okay. um, in Commerce One. It wasn't, on by def it wasn't part of Commerce itself, which mm -hmm. it is now in Commerce Two. Um, and it, it was called card on file. Sometimes we did sort of tokens. It was, it was a little more, it was a contrib module. Some payment gateway supported it, some mm -hmm. didn't, some partially supported it. it it was much more of a sort of kind of ad hoc community thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's built into commerce. Every payment gateway that gets set up that um, has any capacity to store tokens, so isn't like a, just a PayPal offsite or mm -hmm. whatever, sorts tokens. So that means for anything we do for recurring, um, you don't need to do anything special for your payment gateway. Nothing at all. As long as it's a normal one that supports, you know, the tokenization functionality, which mm -hmm. almost all of them do. All of them worthwhhile to, to actually integrate. Any with. of the ones of well, any of the ones. Um, of any note or the ones that actually obviously use a credit card. Something like PayPal doesn't necessarily use a credit card so yeah. you don't have a token the same way, right? Although they even can still reference an account and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. um, but it's anything those and then the recurring billings can just happen because as long as we have that token, we can just keep making uh, charges until the token becomes invalid. Um, and if the token becomes invalid, that means like uh, the card was canceled or something, which is the same problem you would have with anything. Then you have to you know, notify the customer and, and get a new card. Sounds a whole lot better than it used to be. It is. Just, it really is. Um, <laughs> it was actually even a strong point of Commerce One just mm -hmm. because lots of, uh, it, it is a bit complex to handle. There's a lot of little edge cases like, um, you know, uh, the payment didn't go through. What do mm -hmm. we do? Do we, do we have something that we have to cancel? Like, do we have to cancel the subscription? Do we have to get the product back? You know, do we stop giving them access to the site? You know, do we do that immediately? Do we give them some sort of window to... Um, put in the new card, how do they get in and put in the new card? It's not like they can just go add something to their cart again, they need to go in and like correct this. So there's, there's a lot of other stuff that needs to happen and a lot of e-commerce setups just kind of avoid that entirely. So it was a strength even of Commerce One and now it's really a strength of Commerce Two. It's only um, uh, just uh, you know reaching development right now, so it's a new feature to, to Commerce Two, but it is a real strength even just based on the initial architecture. So what's the too long didn't read today? Whew. Um, recurring. It's really nice. It's, it's built done. into commerce. Um, she's working. She's mostly working. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just finishing up. It's supposed to wrap up for the end of the uh, end of the month. So, okay. Um, by the time you probably see this video, it will be done. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's just nice. It's built in. It's going to have the licensing to match that with you want to um, set up a 
you want to attach that to a role in Drupal or something like that, it's going to have the dunning, which means it sends you, hey, you're going to be charged this tomorrow, or this was charged and it failed, and all those sort of email notifications, that will be built in as well. Those used to be a whole bunch of different modules. It's all going to be much cleaner now. Um, hopefully work with Anessa. Right on. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Questions about tokenization and recurring below. Complaints can go to our complaint department at complaints at acromedia.com. That's not a real thing. Um, and yeah. Uh, Sure. It's not real, but still send them there. Yeah. Um, follow us on Facebook. Um, you can read our blog at acromedia.com. And you can follow me on Twitter. No complaints there, please.